Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how I make my minimalistic cakes. Obviously you can make them look a little different, but this is just how I make them. So let's get started. You're going to want to start by putting a little frosting on your cake board. This is going to prevent your cake from slipping around while you're frosting it. You're going to add your first layer of cake and top it off with some simple syrup, which is just a 1 to 1 ratio of water and sugar. This is going to prevent the cake from being dry in the center. I also like to freeze my cakes before so that they're sturdy and easier to frost. Next, you're going to start by adding a little bit of frosting to the center and just smooth that out until it's even. Once it's somewhat even, you can add your second layer of cake and start topping it off with more frosting. This is going to be your crumb coat, so don't worry if when you're frosting it, some parts of the cake start falling off and like it gets a little crummy. That's the whole point of the crumb coat. It's a seal in the crumb, so when your final layer of frosting goes on, it'll be nice and smooth. Just continue making your way down with the frosting until you have a nice and somewhat even layer. It doesn't have to be perfect. This is just the crumb coat. Once you have a relatively smooth surface, you're going to put the cake in the freezer for about 20 minutes so the frosting can set. While the cake is in the freezer, I like to work on the colored frosting, so I'm just going to add some gel food coloring to my frosting until it's nice and even. This is just a simple buttercream frosting, by the way. I can make a recipe on how I make mine if anyone wants. Once the cake is out of the freezer, I add my second layer of frosting to the cake and start from the top and work my way down. Having a cake scraper will make this part so much easier because it just really helps even out the frosting. Once I'm done with the second layer, I like to put the cake back into the freezer for another 20 minutes so the frosting can set. While the cake is in the freezer, I like to prep my piping bags with some frosting that I'm going to use for the borders of the cake. So I like to have a bottom border, so for that I just use whatever tip I'm in the mood for and I just slowly pipe on some frosting. So once I'm done with the bottom border, I do the top border. It's the same thing, I just slowly make a border around the top. To make the cake look a little prettier and fancier, I like to add an inner border that's a different color. This just makes the frosting stand out a little more. Next, I've been seeing a lot of these cakes recently that have these like little loops on the side, so I'm gonna add some of those to make it look a little pretty. I'm gonna go in and make these little circles a little bigger. Then I'm just gonna go in and add some detail with my other color of frosting. There you have it, that's how I make my minimalistic cakes. These cakes are super fun to make because you can make them in a bunch of different colors and different patterns. So yeah, I hope you like this video and I hope you go make a cake of your own.